when this song drops, I want you to go crazy. In a new interview with Stereo Gum, producer No ID says that Beyonce went crazy when she first heard the beat that he created while at her house that would eventually become track 7 on a Renaissance album. She was like, remember that idea in the computer that you didn't finish? And I went to see her and we talked about the record, we listened to her album, and then we were blessed with Church Girl. I was born free. But there's a twist. The beat was not created with Mrs. Carter in the room, but Mr. No ID tells Stereo Gum, I was at his house one day, excuse me, his house? I had some equipment with me, and I just started making a beat, and he was rapping to it, it was for him. And he just put it in the computer, and I never thought about it again. I literally forgot about it. Well, I guess one day, Beyonce was browsing that computer. Maybe it was a shared computer between her and Jay-Z. Maybe it's his computer, and she has reason to browse it every once in a while. Just to see if, you know, he's spending any of his time away from her, you know, doing any new work. Yeah, any new work. Yeah, so she came across exactly what she was looking for, a beat. And when she heard Jay-Z's verse on it, she said to Jay-Z, yes. No ID tells Stereogram, Jay jokingly tells me, man, she stole my beat. And Beyonce said to Jay-Z, darling, after all the s*** we've been through. From now on, everything I take from you is not stealing, but simply repercussions. I'm sure that's how the conversation went, something like that, right? Are you surprised that this happened? I'm not. I actually think it's probably fairly common practice between the two. Like what one of them comes up with in a session with the producer might eventually become the basis for a track for the other one. Now when it comes to Church Girl's divisiveness, No ID says, hey, it's art, it's there. Argue, say whatever you want, think whatever you want. I know people that don't like it, I know people that love it and swear by it. Usually when music is divisive, that means it's something new. To each their own. Some people like raspberry ice cream too. What do you got against raspberry ice cream? Why do you gotta bring it into this? Huh. Anyways, I love Church Girl, and actually, after album first listen, it was my favorite track on the album. Now then some jockeying occurred, and it fell behind Pure Honey. It's probably now behind Summer Renaissance and Energy as well. Maybe Move as well, but it's still like top tier. It's not like my love for Church Girl has lessened, just like there's other tracks that I love even more now. Um, but no, I still love that song. Like, I mean, when Beyonce tells you to... Drop it like a thotty, drop it like a thotty. How can you not... Pop it like a thotty, pop it like a thotty. But what do you think? of the church girl theft. 